Hi everyone. I decided to put together a uh, transformer basically uh, with a bifowler coil to uh, verify this and uh, see uh, what happens. Um, these are uh, transformer laminations here on the sides, both sides here, same uh, transformer laminations and then going across to a coil that was already on a spool that's from a shaded pole motor uh, that I had salvaged some time back and uh, this is a coil that was wound by Fowler and it has uh, also steel laminations inside there so this uh, black tape that you see here is just holding together these laminations to make a bridge over to the next uh, set of laminations to this. This will be the primary and this will be the secondary here. So this, uh, like I say, is by Fowler. Two strands uh, wound together and just like that and then connected into series. And uh, that's about it. So what I have now is my inductance meter here hooked up to the uh, primary. And that primary is uh, 665 millihenries. I have that on my two Henry scale there. So now we'll just connect it to the uh, the bifowler coil. And that bifowler coil is giving us a total of 419 millihenries. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll pull my uh, uh, meter and measure the resistance. Okay, my uh, better meter there is connected to the uh, bifowler coil there. And we have this DC resistance. So about 8 ohms. All right. Yeah, 8 ohms, bang on. Now I've got it uh, connected to the uh, primary coil here, that little shaded pole uh, coil motor. Um, that is about 80 ohms. All right, so about 10 times as high, 79 ohms there to be exact. All right. Okay. Okay, now I have the uh, H bridge that's going to be pulsing the primary of this uh, transformer. And. Um, the H bridge at this time is disconnected from the primary. Just to show you what the uh, current draw, we're going to be using a total of 62.7 uh, volts. And that's what the H bridge is using there, just idling, not uh, connected. And that is actually uh, 30 microamps. All right, and there it is on the uh, 200 millivolt uh, scale there. So it's extremely small amount of wasted uh, at that particular frequency. As the frequencies go up higher, these uh, H-bridge start to use up a lot of uh, uh, waste, uh, more, more energy. But at this frequency, uh, I'm in the 500 hertz range. Uh, they're very efficient. Okay, so now the uh, primary is connected. And we have a 1 ohm uh, shunt resistor here to, uh, with our scope probes across that and our probe here uh, across the uh, coil here, our voltage probe, our current probe, and grounds going all to the same location. And then we have another probe here uh, attached to a 150 ohm uh, resistor here across that. That will be our load on the uh, secondary. And if we look at the uh, current readings, uh, we're at 62 volts, and uh, that's eight, uh, eight milli uh, amps. All right, that's again on the uh, lower uh, 200 millivolt scale. So that's what it's uh, using um, there. And there's my battery uh, source there. Uh, that's my other circuit there that I have the uh, pulse width uh, capability of adjusting uh, pulse width. But I'm going to tell you, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if we look at our scope here, uh, pulse width is not worth adjusting. Because as soon as you reduce your uh, pulse width uh, on the uh, AC, uh, the current uh, drops down on the load. 
So you're looking now at uh, a scope here that my friend uh, Thane has uh, lent me and it's a four channel uh, scope. I'm going to be using three of the channels and that's the uh, model of the uh, scope there. Great scope. And uh, if we look at all the uh, data here, hopefully uh, we're going to get a good shot of it. Um, here, uh, this, uh, this uh, square is obviously the uh, probe here at the uh, coil here. That's the square wave coming out of the H-bridge. And um, this one here, which is a uh, purple color, uh, that's uh, actually our load. And the yellow here, this one here, that is actually our 1 ohm resistor, our shunt resistor, measuring the uh, current. All right. So if we look at the data here, first, uh, which is channel one, that's where our uh, shunt resistor is. We've got 31.5 uh, millivolts uh, running across that resistor. Okay. And the channel two is the uh, frequency here. And that's basically on our coil, uh, our primary coil there. And uh, at a total of 61.5 uh, uh, volts that it's uh, measuring, and peak to peak, peak to peak uh, is uh, 128 volts there. And our uh, probe number three, that's measuring the uh, voltage across our 150 ohm resistor. So we're at uh, 4.11 uh, volts there. I'm going through these details because I'm going to ask somebody to do the math on this here and uh, figure out uh, what the efficient, efficiency is of all this. So with all these numbers, hopefully uh, somebody can do it. This is uh, not my strong side to figure out the math. So we are using here, like I said, 8.3 uh, uh, milliamps with the uh, load connected. And I'll go ahead and disconnect the load right now. The load is off. And we're exactly again at 83 milliamps. And if we look at our scope, our other uh, thing, our, our load is gone. Uh, it's a straight flat line now because there is nothing happening. Now the interesting thing that I have found, okay, and this is what uh, could fool people, is if you notice now our, our shunt resistor is uh, displaying a smaller amount of uh, voltage. Uh, there's a question mark there. I don't know why it's doing that in the scope, but visually you can see that line is less. And what I'll do right now is I'll connect and disconnect the load and you can see it change. Okay, now it's connected. So as you see, it's kind of gone up. All right. Now it's disconnected. Now it's connected. So I don't know why it's uh, doing that. Uh, is it because there's also voltage going back through this thing or something? I don't know because if we look at what my meter here on the DC side prior to the H-bridge, which is the feed to the input of the H-bridge, if I disconnect the load, okay, we've got no change. Connect, connect the load. All right, we're exactly back at the same thing. Disconnect the load. There's no difference. Load is connected. So, um, I don't know why it changes like that, but as far as I'm concerned, this is really what is important is the source uh, current that, uh, you know, is feeding the whole thing. So uh, maybe the experts can <laughs> figure out why that is happening. So I think that's about it for now. Uh, if somebody can do all the math on that, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. And uh, thanks uh, for uh, watching these uh, videos. Bye now.